The reports feature in Fabric allows you to pull data from different places in the system into filterable and exportable reports. This video will provide an overview from start to finish on using reports in Fabric. There are three different components in Fabric that make up reports. The first are shaped data sources. These determine what data points will be available within a report. The second are report templates, which is where the data fields and filters are formed into a template. The last is a finalized report, which is created from a template and populated with data. Shaped data sources are the most complex aspect of reports and can be difficult to use for someone new to the system. Because of this, it is recommended to contact Armature before making major changes in this area, or to test in a UAT environment before making changes in production. To access a shaped data source, go to Setup and Data Sources. Here, you can see a listing of all the existing shaped data sources in the system, with a description of what the data source is for. After clicking on a shaped data source, you can see a number of dropdowns with a variety of data fields within them. When you select a data field, it will become an available option as a column for any report templates that use a shaped data source. You can also change how the data field should display in a report and whether or not it should be available as a filterable and sortable field. To the right of each dropdown, a blue box will tally up how many data fields from the dropdown were selected. The sum of these will amount to how many total fields will be available as a column for any report templates using the data source. In this case, a total of 12 fields are selected from each one of the dropdowns, so there will be a total of 12 unique fields available as columns for any report templates using this data source. Each shape data source derives from its own root data source in the system. The root data source selected in the shape data source will determine the potential dropdowns available. If the root data source is changed, the dropdowns and fields available within the shape data source will change as well. Shaped data sources are named that way because they are a shaped version of another data source, based on which field you choose to include from that data source. A good example of this is the difference between the organization details and status shaped data source and the organization's active decisions shaped data source. Both of these out of the box shaped data sources share the same root data source, so all the dropdowns and fields within those dropdowns will be identical between the data sources. The details and status shape data source was created to only include basic information, so it has a total of 21 fields selected, including business ID, email, status, and other contact information. The Active Decision Shape data source was created to only include information related to decisions, so it ignores certain dropdowns like primary contact and address, and instead selects fields from the decision dropdown. If you have your own set of unique fields that you want from a root data source, you can create a new shape data source from it and select fields based on the name and description chosen for your new shape data source. Once you have a shaped data source with all the fields you want available within a report, you can make a report template by going to Setup and Reports. Here, you can see and edit any existing report templates within the system. To create a new template, click the blue plus button. You can then enter a name, an optional description for the template, and pick a shaped data source. Under Secondary Data Sources, you can add additional shaped data sources to the template. This will allow you to access any fields selected within those data sources. This functions similar to secondary data sources and publications, where two common fields, typically IDs, are matched between the primary and new shaped data source, along with an alias to differentiate the fields between the primary and secondary shaped data source. Based on the field selected when editing the shape data source, 
you can choose them as columns within the report. You can then change how that column will display within the report. Once columns are added, you can reorder them by dragging and dropping, and select columns to sort by. You can also add groups of filters to the report template. The available fields to filter by will depend on what was selected as filterable in the shape data source. After the report template is finished and saved, you can go to the report screen and click the blue plus button to make a new report. Next, select a template for the report. After choosing a template, you can change any of the filters and columns from the template. However, this will only affect the new report being created from the template, and not the actual template itself. If report access is set to public, anyone accessing the report screen can view the report. If set to private, it will only appear for your own user account. Once the report is finalized, click Save. The report will now be populated with data, and at any time, you can click on the reports listing to reaccess the report. Each time the report is accessed from the report listing, filters can be added and changed. However, unless the filters exist on the configuration of the report, the filters won't be saved when the report is reaccessed. Finally, when a report is finished with all the appropriate filters and data, you can export the results into an Excel sheet.